We're going to start full throttle because this is really a measurement of your leadership aptitude. Can you laugh without smiling? <laughs> Look at her face. I was really trying to laugh without smiling. Didn't you make us do this all the time? Yes. Oh, how I love making people do that. So let me introduce two of my favorite people, my former teammate and soccer legend, Mia Hamm, and current national team superstar, Alex Morgan. We kicked off our shoes for a little sock talk about leadership styles. So how would you both describe your style? Mia, start with you. Just by setting a good example. I think that's the best way I could do it. Just by being responsible and doing the work. You know, I'm not really one that kind of runs in and rallies people vocally. And I've tried to do that, but failed miserably. <laughs> How'd you know um, you failed? Well, because there was no response. Like <laughs> the response you usually want to get, no, I had the opposite. I remember in, in college, my senior year, it was like, okay, you were voted captain. And all of a sudden I thought I had to be different that I had to be kind of this vocal leader. You know, just even in a, a simple post-game practice and I'm trying to like bring everyone together <laughs> and tell them, and I can't tell you how many eye rolls I got. I can't tell you. I had a scenario where our assistant coach, Bill Palladino, pulled me in. He said, you know, in the end, that's not your strength. Your strength is how hard you work in training. Your strength is scoring goals in game. Uh, your strength is running down balls defensively. Like, that is your leadership style, and embrace that. It goes down to that authenticity. Mia may not have been as loud as some of us. Instead, she was our fearless, selfless leader by example. These days, Alex Morgan is looked to as a leader on the U.S. women's national team. She says building relationships with her teammates is key. For me, it's on the field, off the field, going to a younger player's room and saying, hey, what are you doing? You know, what do you need help with? How, how is the training camp going so far? That's been something I've had to get used to. I think it's awesome that you're being so proactive. It's hard though. It is kind of nerve wracking to go to someone's room you don't know or at dinner sit with, sit with players that you wouldn't usually strike up a casual conversation with. And even though I'm, you know, nervous or I feel like that's a little out of my comfort zone. I feel like, how would they feel? They're probably <laughs> like, holy crap, Alex, Alex Morgan. Alex Morgan is sitting here, <laughs> sitting here. asking me how I'm doing. That asking if I need silent. help with my high school homework. <laughs> this is our most serious segment. Okay. Because I am intense. Okay. It's called Most Pressing Questions. Are you ready? Yeah. Where is your happy place? I like to cook, so the kitchen. At home, shoes off. Comfy pants, no responsibility. Lucky Charms or Fruit Loops? Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. Yes, I knew I loved you too. Yeah. Just to show how confident you guys are in <clears throat> your own skin, we could dance off this segment to the best of your worst. For more from this interview, check out my book, Choose to Matter, coming May 2nd.